Hey guys, welcome back to Bait and Tackle. I'm your host, Joe Frank, and today is our special episode for Christmas. Uh, this is gonna come out after Christmas, obviously, but I'm wearing my Emmett Otter. Hope you guys know what that movie is. Ain't no hole in the wash tub. I'm not sure if you know that movie or not. I kind of grew up on that movie, so it's one of my favorites. But today we have an unboxing video with my buddy, Adam from SDG. So let's get you over to the bench and let's check this thing out because he sent us a ton of stuff. And we're gonna just kind of take a peek at everything and see what he sent us for colors and what types of baits he sent us. But I got a funny feeling this is gonna be awesome. All right, let's see what we got here. This is the box. Came from West Virginia, so we're not too far away. Ho, 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 ho. I see some stuff. Oh my God, he sent me two things. Two containers, holy cow. Let's get this box out of the way so we can take a look at these things. Wow, look at all this stuff, guys. Holy cow. Adam, you outdid yourself there, buddy. Holy cow, this is awesome. So he put a sticker on the boxes, which I love that because that's what I do on mine too, as I love it. So then that way you can just kind of tell who made the baits for you, that kind of thing. Adam, I'm blown away, buddy. Let's get you guys zoomed in just a little bit here closer. Said, gave me a little note, says Merry Christmas, Joe. Love it. I'm gonna definitely put this sticker somewhere. And that's one of those, looks like one of those glitter stickers from um, Sticker Mule. Love those, pretty awesome. And then as always, his card. I love his card. It's pretty cool. I gotta start doing something like this with my stuff. Pretty neat. Although I don't openly sell baits like he does. So he's got a website set up and he actually sells stuff all the, all the time. So let's take a look at this box. Wow, the guys, this is crazy. This is so cool. I'm gonna use this thing to prop this thing open. So we got all sorts of goodies in here. These are those new millipedes from Epic Bait Molds, which I haven't seen yet. These are so cool. These things are huge. Look how long this is on my hand. It's my entire hand. That's how long it is. I'm not even sure how long that is. Let's get, let's get, like, let's get a ruler out and check this thing out. This is crazy. This thing's insane. It is almost seven inches long. That's a, that's a big bait, and it's really thick. Like, that is a thick bait, but he made them with some super soft plastic. I think this is probably Bait Plastics 242, I would guess, because I know that's what most of those guys use. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. He sent me, holy cow, he sent me, geez, five of those. Man, I, th I, I think those will those will be pretty interesting. I'm not sure how I'm going to rig those up, Adam. I'll probably use like a, a really big offset worm hook or something and... Texas rig it, I guess, on the bottom, or I don't know about drop shot and that, but that's a little bit too big, maybe. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, so that's really cool. I would definitely want to try these out. Good colors too. I like the I like the red that he chose on the bottom with like some hyper shift stuff in it. It's got a bunch of different glitter. And the uh, the blue, the blue is very nice. It's like a purple with blue and green. Um, green glitter in there. And then the other side is that red, that reddish color. It's kind of almost reddish brown. 
beautiful color though and i love the the color shift on there the the it's just that's that's an amazing amazing bait and then he did the same thing in some of these knuckle draggers which i just got this mold so i haven't used this mold yet um super excited about it but these are going to be a killer killer trailer on a jig because it's got that worm body and that curly tail and it's got the cr the craw mole the craw claws too so it's got a little bit of everything going on there but same color pattern the blue with the with the glitter and the and the red on the other side but those are awesome so he sent me how many of those looks like four of those awesome 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 i can't wait to try those and this is good too because i love getting stuff from other bait makers especially even the ones that make a lot of the stuff that i can make I never have time to make my own baits. So this is fantastic because he sends me all these things and this is stuff that I get to use for myself. I'm not giving them to anybody else. This is fantastic. So this is really cool. I, don't, I can't remember what he calls these. I don't know if it's a woolly booger or what, but this is a jig and I'm not sure what those terms, I don't know those terms. I need to learn that stuff. So Adam, I might be talking to you at some point here. I need to understand some of that stuff, but these are basically some jigs, look like Arky jigs. <clears throat> And they have some fur tied into them. Amazing, amazing colors. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm probably not even close to being in frame here. But unbelievable color pattern. Look at that. Look at that. And that fur, that is, that is fantastic. And I love that little touch of red in there. That's beautiful. And I know that's an, I think that's a Nova Stone color um, as far as the jig head color, the color goes. Perfect. Unbelievable, Adam. Those, these are awesome. I mean, I'm going to stop this. I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. This is better. Then that way I, I can actually kind of see the camera a little bit. And when I'm showing you guys, it makes me, I can actually see it a little bit better. All right. So here's another one of those jigs. Oh man, I love it. I love the Nova Stone stuff. And I love this fur being incorporated and tied into these jigs. And I do love throwing jigs. I just, I haven't really thrown them in a while. So I may have to get out there at some point this winter um, you know, January, February, March kind of thing and start throwing these around because ah, amazing colors too. Very natural. That's what I love about these. So good pick, Adam. These are perfect. These are going to work really well here. All right, some suckers. These are amazing baits as well. He used a really cool color shift in there. I love it. I love the white on the bottom. That's going to get slammed, especially for me. A lot of white works really well where I'm at. And even when I travel across the state and stuff like that, that's that's a that's a killer color, white white pearl specifically. But that top is amazing, and I may throw these around for smallmouth in the uh, in the rivers and streams because this would get killed by a smallmouth with a decent size hook on it. So awesome! Those are very very cool, and I've got that mold too as well. But I like I said, I just I just don't do enough for myself. All right, see so what we got in this compartment. We got a long ways to go, guys, because. I got two boxes sitting here. So, jig head looks like a freestyle. Painted some beautiful like gray silvery color. It's awesome. And look at the look at the tie job on these. Just just amazing. Amazing job, man. Got a little bit of rubber in there, a little bit of a little bit of silicone just to give it a little touch there. And look at the look at the flash in there. Oh, I love it. I love it. And the feathers. That's going to be killer in the creeks and the rivers that I fish and stuff. And then he's sent a couple more here. Let's see, one more. We got one more in there. This one's a white with pink. Ah, oh, that's gonna get slammed. And look at that flash in there. Oh, that's so awesome. These are gonna get demolished. Smalley snacks right there. Absolute killers. And this thing, I've been waiting to I've been waiting to look at this thing. This is this is so cool. I saw it I saw it when we opened the when we opened the boxes up and oh man, it, this is the coolest thing, man. And I saw him do this on one of the videos and I was kind of hoping that I'd get one of these. Um phenomenal job. I think this is a, a blank that he painted and it's got knockers in it. Uh, I'm not sure the spec on this bait. I may have to ask him that, how, how far down it, it dives. By that bill, I'd, I'd guess probably like uh, maybe eight feet, or maybe a little less, five to eight maybe. But beautiful, beautiful bait. Colors, great job on the paint job. Look at that. Highlighted some spots in, in uh, chartreuse. Got some pink and gold in there. Got some white on the belly. Beautiful. Looks like some glitter on the top and the clear coat. Actually, I think he did that in the clear coat, yep. 
Beautiful clear coat, beautiful eyes. And I love that Mohawk. Look at the top of that thing. That is so cool. Awesome job, Adam. I'm, I'm so excited to throw some of this stuff. I, I kind of don't want to throw this. This is just so cool. It's just such a like shop piece to hang somewhere and talk about. It's just so neat. But I'll, 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 get, I'll try to get it out there. I promise. I'll try to get it out there and throw it. Then we got this thing, which this looks like a natural bait. This looks like he handmade this one. I think he handmade that. That does not look like a... I can't tell. Yeah, I think that's solid. I think that's that's handmade. Awesome job, Adam. Dude, that's, that's super cool. That eye is so awesome. Look at the definition of that eye. Look how deep it is. I love it. That's fantastic. The pattern is spot on. Looks a little bit like a trout. Like a rainbow trout almost. Beautiful green, dark up on top. Fades down in. Awesome pure pearl white on the bottom. Just beautiful big eye. I love stuff with big eyes, obviously. I mean, I got my big eye fed at right? But this little chatter thing on the front, oh man, that's gonna kill. That is gonna be, that's something different. That's gonna be really neat to throw around. I can't wait to try this. Check that out. And he put a little holographic sticker on there too. I keep getting stuck on these uh, treble hooks. They must be pretty sharp. But what a beautiful, beautiful bait. Amazing. Thank you so much, Adam. These are awesome. I'm going to wrap that one back up so he stays protected in there. Then it looks like he sent me a couple of, uh, I don't call them chatters anymore. I'm going to start calling them jitter, jitter baits. Even though jitter, like don't be associated with the jitter bug. But I'm not calling them chatter baits anymore just because of all the crap going on with Z-Man and everything. So we're going to call them jitter, jitter baits. That's what I'm going to call them. But a bladed bait, nonetheless. Really cool. This one's actually painted. He actually painted the blade. That's really neat. That's the first time I've seen that. Beautiful jig head there. Beautiful skirt color. Awesome. And then he sent me some rockets. Rocket grubs, looks like, to go with that. Whole bunch of rocket grubs to go with it. Kind of a matching color kind of deal with the head. Man, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's going to be a sweet, sweet trailer for that, too. I love that rocket grub. <clears throat> There's a lot of different grubs that are like this same style. Um, I know that the... AI does the core shot. Uh, these these guys, this is Epic Bait Molds. I know that Adam exclusively works with Epic Bait, but these have an awesome, awesome kicking to them. All right, looks like he sent me a whole bunch of different colored, um, looks like Epic, I can't remember if these are puds or if these are um, nuggets. No, these aren't the nuggets. I think the nuggets are smaller. I think these are the puds, but look at those colors, guys. Look at the color shifts in them, the powders, the glitters. Absolutely incredible. I will definitely throw these around because, like I said, I just never have time to make my own. So it's going to be awesome to be able to take some of the baits that I always want to take them out with me, but I, I'm never pouring them for myself. I'm always pouring them for somebody else or, you know, just it's just part of the deal, part of the gig, you know. So that's box number one. I can't, I can't believe it. Adam, this is amazing, man. This is incredible. I can't believe you sent me this much stuff. But I'm going to put these in my truck, and I'm going to carry them with me when I travel for work, and I'm going to try to fish all of this. All right, so this one's a little bit different. Let's see what we got here. We got a bunch of rocket grubs in here. I noticed that off the bat. But we also have these, I think they're called speed shrimp. So I'm assuming these are for some trailers for either some jigs or something else. Um, this color looks pretty familiar. This looks like, uh, looks like monkey milk with something else in it. Like some, just some glitter and whatnot. But look at, look at the colors. Adam always does a, sp a fantastic job on color. Um, he's always using different color shifts and hyper shifts and powders and all sorts of different stuff. Looks, look, giant flakes. I can see huge flakes in this one. These are really cool. I love that. That black spot in that one. That's really cool. But just amazing. He just does an amazing job with colors. Awesome, 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 awesome. So he sent me a bunch of each one, each of those colors. Um, I don't see a jig in there with them, but I'm assuming there's some coming up here. Oh, here we go. We got the old um, Shatterbait trailer. I believe that's the Shatterbait. Or is that the Shatterbait? Is that the other one, the um, Slaybait? Could be the Slaybait. Either or, doesn't matter. They're both awesome. Look at that. Gave me a little jig head there with uh, 
with an awesome skirt, matching colors. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's so incredible. So awesome. Look at the color matching there. So good. That is going to get slammed. Slam, 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 bonied. And then it looks like we got some of the Epic Mullets, which I've done a couple of these. I've done a video on these too, I believe. But look at the colors. Again, the shifts. Look at that. See that? See that color shift? It's incredible. Incredible. Love it. So awesome. Definitely going to use the crap out of those. Oh, and then he sent me one of these too. This is, oh, this is incredible. So this is almost like a giant buzz bait, but look at it. It's like an inline buzz where this spins up here and then he's got a painted weight here, okay? And then look at the giant hook on the back. Oh, and it's got a, it's got a screw lock there too to keep the bait in there. And it looks like what he sent me was some of these toads to put on there. Oh man, that's gonna be incredible. What an incredible bait that'll be, look at that. Putting that on there like that. Whew. That thing is gonna smoke, look at this. See if I can get you back, get the whole thing in frame. Look at that, that is awesome. Heck yeah. And with these frogs on the back, oh, that's gonna get, that's gonna get destroyed. Hopefully by a big one too, because I need some help with getting a bigger fish this year. I know last year I caught like a, or was, I don't even know if it was, it wasn't this year, it was the year before actually. I caught an over five pounder and this year I think I may have caught like a three was my biggest. So I need some help now. All right, so he sent me a whole bunch more of these epic mullets. I'll show you some different colors. Oh, that color right there is a stunner. I can't wait to use that one right there. Look at this one. It's like a natural minnow almost. It's got that dark color on the back, pearl white on the belly, and look at the chartreuse with this blue type color shift into almost a purple, it looks like. Incredible, incredible, incredible baits. Unbelievable. And then we got this would look like some more rocket rocket grubs. But again, look at the match. See this, watch the head. See that head, look at that. What a good job, incredible. So awesome. Merry Christmas to me, I'm telling you. This is gonna be so much fun to get out there and throw these things around. I think he threw a head, he did. He threw a jig head in with each one of these. Look at this little guy. Little, little tiny uh, jitterbait bladed bait and he painted that one too look at he painted that that blade incredible with a color shift too that is so cool and then look at that head and then look at put this behind it a little bit of chartreuse kicking on the back there oh man that's going to be awesome that's going to get destroyed i think i got some use for that i think in the river that's going to go that's going to be absolutely killer and then we got some looks like like i said some uh um what's that stuff called monkey milk with it looks like some some flake in it oh just that is absolutely incredible and it looks like he's got another one in there too look at another little bladed bladed jig oh look at that it's got like some silver clear that is incredible look at that awesome and white and silver traditionally do really well where i'm at and even across the state but look at those colors beautiful and that on the back whew, that's gonna smoke them that is gonna smoke them so awesome. All right, here's the last one, guys. Last one, last color. Look at this. Oh, incredible, incredible. Look at that. Look at that color match again. Look at look at that head and look at that plastic. It's even got the color shift on it, matching perfect. Just incredible. And again, on the blade, painted that blade too. Oh, so cool. So awesome, guys. This is so cool. Adam, thank you so much. Merry Christmas to me, I'm telling you. This is awesome. I need to take some pictures of this stuff. Look at look at this, look at this tray. It's incredible. I'm gonna step you out here. Look how big that is. This is not the small, this is not the small tray. This is the big tray. Full. And that, I, not one, but two. I mean, this is insane. Incredible, incredible baits. I'm gonna use all of these. I mean, this is so awesome. 
I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I hope everything is great with your families. Hope everybody stayed safe through the holidays. And let's uh, let's wrap this video up. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Hope you liked that, just an unboxing of some great stuff from SDG. I'd have to say my favorite is probably this guy right here. This is definitely a conversation starter. Such an awesome crankbait with a Mohawk. I love it, absolutely cool. And that other thing that he sent me, these, um, and the, the, the jigs with the, with the fur on them and everything. Wow, those are really incredible too. But this thing too, this inline spinner with a frog, that is incredible. That is that is really cool. I can't wait to throw that too. So I think those are my, my favorite two off the bat. And I'm sure they're the most time consuming to make as well. Um, but uh, just incredible. Thank you so much, Adam. Guys, go check out Adam, SDG, Lurecraft. I'm sure you already watch his channel. I mean, a lot of the guys I know that watch my channel watch his channel, vice versa, but go check him out. Amazing job, amazing baits. And he sells stuff on his website. Go check out his website, buy some stuff, man. He sells some killer, killer products. So thank you again, everybody. Thank you, Adam. Um, we're coming up on, I think we're gonna, our next our next deadline approach is probably gonna be like 2,500 subscribers. We're over 2,000 now, we're probably like 250-ish or 2,500 or something like that. Or I'm sorry, 2,050. I'm sorry, not 500. When we get to 2,500, when we get to 2,500, I'm gonna do another big giveaway. And I think I'm gonna do another giveaway with my um, big eyed fed heads and maybe some other stuff to put together like a box. Obviously won't be as impressive as Adam's, but I'll put together a box. We'll give that away. We'll probably just do one big, uh, one box we're gonna give away. I know last time for the Instagram one I just did, we gave away a box and some swim baits separate and had three different winners. So this time I'll probably just do one. Maybe I'll change that, I'm not sure yet. Don't take my word on that. But uh, it's been a great, great year. I've really appreciated all your guys' support and everything. I mean, we've cranked out a, a video, one video a week for the year. I'm gonna try to maintain that pace. I may slip a little bit. There's a couple things going on this year that I gotta get done and it may be a little bit of a time constra constraint, but I will do my best to get a video out a week just like I have been doing. But again, I appreciate you guys and thank you so much for watching. And as always, remember to keep on baiting.